Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and I'm going to be showing a technique about creating related records with FileMaker. So here we have just a sample file with a couple of records in it. And for, for a really long time with FileMaker, you've been able to create related records in a portal just by clicking on the next line of the portal and typing, like so. The problem with that is once you get down a few lines, um, and don't make any typing errors, um, then what happens is it's really kind of unclear for the user what to do for the next record because they, they don't really know from any other platform that they use that they have to scroll down to the bottom and add. Also, it's kind of weird to have this little line because if you have an icon for deleting or going to a related record, it doesn't do anything. So you click on the button to do something and nothing you can't actually do anything on that, on that other line. So in general, I recommend um, uh, in the graph to actually turn that function off. So if you're looking at your relationship, in this case, customer to person, you can uncheck this box for creating related records. And then the portal looks a little bit more clean because what you see is this. You see just a, uh, you can't actually make another line. Um, and uh, but then it's also not uh, unclear to the user. They, they know exactly what to do. So how then do we make a related record? Well, here's a pretty good way to do it. You can actually um, have a portal. I'll duplicate this one. And I'll make it just one line. So rather than three lines, it'll just be one line high. I won't use active real st state. I won't have scrolling. And I won't have the delete on it. I actually have to undo one thing I just did on the graph. So I'm going to put this one kind of at the top of the other one. And then kind of align it exactly on top of it so we can kind of see how it's going to look. I'll go back to my graph because I actually have to turn on this create related record feature again. Either that or have a second relationship just for this portal. And then uh, now uh, it's actually a little bit confusing because it's showing me um, my ex first record. So we have to do one additional thing. We have to basically filter to say, don't show me any data if there, there actually is a record. So we, we click filter portal and say, um, only show me if the ID of the related person, um, if it's empty. And then it's a blank line, but it still allows me to click at it and type. So if I want to type in a name, it allows me to do that. When I hit enter, it kind of goes down to the bottom of the list and then kind of lets me start again. So the next thing that I would probably do on this to make it even more clear to the user is I would use this other feature in FileMaker to, um, to show a uh, a tool to, not a tooltip, but actually the display name, the placeholder text of that object. So enter name or enter first name and then, you know, last for this one and then job title. The nice thing about this is when we look at it in browse mode, that actually sort of serves as our field header. So I can really get rid of my field headers probably. Um, and that's just kind of one less, one less thing on the layout. I keep making typos here. I can move this up a little bit. So now if I want to enter another person, um, I can just put in, you know, Joe Smith and hit enter. Now it's a little unclear because I didn't have enough space. So I probably want to have my portal have enough height um, or uh, maybe even a better way to do it would be to have them sorted so that the most recent one is first or the one that I just added is highlighted or something like that. There's a lot of other ways you can deal with this. So this is kind of a good technique and there will be another video coming that shows another technique of adding them using a global field at the top of it. Because I think users on other platforms are really used to the way to make a new record is at the top of a portal, not um, like in line or not at the bottom, uh, typically on most web forms. So that's it. Thanks for your time.